the James Webb Telescope will have a unique and profound role in transforming our understanding of astrophysics and the origins of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. In order to carry out its mission, several innovative and powerful new technologies ranging from optics to detectors to thermal control systems have been developed. What is the James Webb Space Telescope? The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest, most powerful space telescope ever built. It will allow scientists to look at what our universe was like about 200 million years after the Big Bang. The telescope will be able to capture images of some of the first galaxies ever formed. It will also be able to observe objects in our solar system from Mars outward, look inside dust clouds to see where new stars and planets are forming and examine the atmospheres of planets orbiting other stars. Here are some facts about the James Webb Space Telescope. It is very, very big. The Webb Telescope is as tall as a three-story building and as long as a tennis court. It is so big that it has to fold origami style to fit inside the rocket to launch. The telescope will unfold, sunshield first, once in space. The James Webb Space Telescope is about the same size as a tennis court and about as tall as a three-story building. It can see through dust clouds. The James Webb Space Telescope sees the universe in light that is invisible to human eyes. This light is called infrared radiation, and we can feel it as heat. Firefighters use infrared cameras to see and rescue people through the smoke in a fire. The James Webb Space Telescope will use its infrared cameras to see through dust in our universe. Stars and planets form inside those dust clouds, so peeking inside could lead to exciting new discoveries. It will also be able to see objects, like the first galaxies that are so far away that the expansion of the universe has made their light shift from visible to infrared. The Webb Telescope's cameras are sensitive to heat from the sun. Just like you might wear a hat or a visor to block the sun from your eyes, Webb has a sunshield to protect its instruments and mirrors. The telescope's sunshield is about the size of a tennis court. The temperature difference between the sun-facing and shaded sides of the telescope is more than 600 degrees Fahrenheit. It uses giant, gold-coated mirrors to see the universe. Space telescopes see by using mirrors to collect and focus light from distant stars. It's very difficult to launch a giant, heavy mirror into space. So, engineers gave the Webb Telescope 18 smaller mirrors that fit together like a puzzle. The mirrors fold up inside the rocket, then unfold to form one large mirror in orbit. Why are the mirrors gold? A thin layer of gold helps the mirrors reflect infrared light. It will be hunting for signs of life on other planets. Our solar system isn't the only home for planets. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets orbiting stars other than our Sun. These are called exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope will help to study the atmospheres of exoplanets. Could the atmospheres of some exoplanets hold the building blocks for life? We will find out soon. The James Webb Space Telescope's revolutionary technology will study every phase of cosmic history, from within our solar system to the most distant observable galaxies in the early universe. Webb's Infrared Telescope will explore a wide range of science questions to help us understand the origins of the universe and our place in it. Seeking light from the first galaxies in the universe Webb will directly observe a part of space and time never seen before. Webb will gaze into the epoch when the very first stars and galaxies formed, over 13.5 billion years ago. Ultraviolet and visible light emitted by the very first luminous objects has been stretched or redshifted by the universe's continual expansion and arrives today as infrared light. Webb is designed to see this infrared light with unprecedented resolution and sensitivity. Exploring distant worlds and the solar system Webb will also be a powerful tool for studying the nearby universe. Scientists will use Webb to study planets and other bodies in our solar system to determine their origin and evolution and compare them with exoplanets, planets that orbit other stars. Webb will also observe exoplanets located in their star's habitable zones, the regions where a planet could harbor liquid water on its surface, and can determine if and where signatures of habitability may be present. Using a technique called transmission spectroscopy, the observatory will examine starlight filtered through planetary atmospheres to learn about their chemical compositions. Webb is NASA's largest and most powerful space science telescope ever constructed. Webb's enormous size and frigid operating temperature present extraordinary engineering challenges.
After launching from French Guiana, the observatory will travel to an orbit about 1 million miles away from Earth and undergo six months of commissioning in space, unfolding its mirrors, sunshield, and other smaller systems, cooling down, aligning, and calibrating. Astronomers worldwide will then be able to conduct scientific observations to broaden our understanding of the universe. Webb will also complement the science achieved by other NASA missions. The complex coordination between dozens of telescopes on the ground and in space is complete, the weather is clear, tech issues have been addressed, the metaphorical stars are aligned. It is time to look at the supermassive black hole at the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. Webb will measure spectra that can reveal molecules in the inner regions of these protoplanetary disks, complementing the details ALMA has provided about the disk's outer regions. These inner regions are where rocky, Earth-like planets can start to form, which is one reason why we want to know more about which molecules exist there. Researchers will be able to assess the quantities of water, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, and ammonia, among many other molecules, in each disk. Critically, they will be able to count the molecules that contain elements essential to life as we know it, including oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. How? With spectroscopy, Webb will capture all the light emitted at the center of each protoplanetary disk as a spectrum, which produces a detailed pattern of colors based on the wavelengths of light emitted. Since every molecule imprints a unique pattern on the spectrum, researchers can identify which molecules are there and build inventories of the contents within each protoplanetary disk. The strength of these patterns also carries information about the temperature and quantity of each molecule. Knowing what's in the inner regions of the disks has other benefits as well. Has water, for example, made it to this area, where habitable planets may be forming? One of the things that's really amazing about planets, change the chemistry just a little bit and you can get these dramatically different worlds. The James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI will deliver incredibly rich information about the molecules that are present in the inner disks of still-forming planetary systems, known as protoplanetary disks. This simulated spectrum, which produces a detailed pattern of colors based on the wavelengths of light emitted, helps researchers take inventories of each molecule. This spectrum shows how much of the gases like methane, ammonia, and carbon dioxide exist. Most of the unidentified features are water. Since spectra are teeming with details, they will help astronomers draw conclusions about the system's contents as planets form. Beginning to answer big questions. This program may also help researchers begin to answer some classic questions, are the forms taken by some of the most abundant elements found in protoplanetary disks, like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen, inherited from the interstellar clouds that formed them? Or does the precise mix of chemicals change over time? We think we can get to some of those answers by making inventories with Webb, Pontopidan explained. It's obviously a tremendous amount of work to do, and cannot be done only with these data, but I think we are going to make some major progress. Thinking even more broadly about the incredibly rich spectra Webb will provide, Salik added, I'm hoping that we'll see things that surprise us and then begin to study those serendipitous discoveries. This research will be conducted as part of Web General Observer GEO programs, which are competitively selected using a dual anonymous review system, the same system that is used to allocate time on the Hubble Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope will be the world's premier space science observatory when it launches in 2021. Webb will solve mysteries in our solar system, look beyond to distant worlds around other stars, and probe the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. Webb is an international program led by NASA with its partners, ESA, European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency.